Hello my crafty friends. I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitt with Sir Chanti Rocco Creative Designs. If you're new to my channel or you are a returning viewer, welcome. Please take a moment to hit that red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen as well as that little bell icon so that you will always be notified when I upload a new video. Today I'm really excited to share a new project that I've created using a beautiful new paper collection from my friend Kimmy Mary. Kimmy created this collection. It's called Like Bees to Honey. I absolutely love it. If you haven't seen it already, I did do a full review of this paper collection and I will be sure to include a link in the description box below. This project is a new take on an older design that I released last year through my Scrap Chick. You may remember the mini bookcase with the individual books. This looks a little different because I've added some additions to it. I've added this top piece here, which I think is so beautiful. To create that, I used a die by Crafter's Companion. This is their Desire on the Edge die. And let's see, this is called Garden Party. I also created a draw here on the bottom, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. The total project measures 10 inches from top to bottom. The width is 6 inches, and the depth is 3 inches. I used craft paper with this paper collection. Because of the bright yellows and the grays and the blacks and the white, I thought I could do something a little bit more rustic. I distressed all of the edges with this Tim Holtz Distressed Ink. This is called Vintage Photo. And I really love the rustic but elegant look that it has. So let's start on the top. Here I have this beautiful on the edge die from Crafter's Companion, which I just showed you. I have this beautiful cluster of sunflowers and yellow roses. On the top here I have this butterfly and these little bees that I fussy cut from the paper collection and I did use glossy accents on it. And in the back I have this black and white gingham bow and then I added a little bit of jute. You can see here that I've outlined this entire box with rhinestone. I have a fun three-dimensional banner here and I cut that from the front page of the paper collection. Let me show you. This is the title that I cut from the cover page. This is much thinner than the paper you receive in the collection. I layered this on top of these two strips here, the gray with the bees, and then I layered that on a piece of 110 pound cardstock. Then I curved the banner so it has a nice three-dimensional element to it. On the top here, I have this queen bee that I cut out from the paper collection, as well as this beehive and another bee. These are all fussy cut from the paper collection. There are four different boxes. Now, because the paper was so pretty, I really didn't want to do a lot of layering. I wanted you to see the beauty of the paper. And I've embellished each of these books with different charms. So here's a paper tassel. I created this using a digital file from My Scrap Chick called Pretty Paper Tassels. On this book box, we have this metal B and then another tassel and then another B. So let me show you what some of these books look like. So this is a side. Again, I have another little bee that I fussy cut and I added it onto this paper tassel. This is a beautiful cut apart from the paper collection. And on the side, I just created my own latch. In this digital mini bookcase file, you do have a latch. However, I wanted to create a small latch that is magnetized. So I've simply cut two little flaps and it opens just like so. On the inside, I've used more cut aparts, and each box has a different little quote. This one says, in every woman, there is a queen. And then I've included some yellow, black, and white crinkled paper. I will be filling this with embellishments. And this is the back. For the next book, we have this B. I think that is so pretty, and it's got a nice heavy weight to it. And this is a front. I love this sunflower with the beautiful bees. Another magnetic closure. And here is another saying inside. It says, grow your own. Here we have these beautiful sunflowers and another tassel. And here it says, if flight is in your heart, you will find your way home. 
And I love the background. If you look really closely, you can see all of these little bumblebees. And last but not least, we have this book with another beautiful sunflower. I just love this paper. And look at the bees here in the beehive. And the sentiment on the inside says, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul. So this is the inside of the mini bookcase. As you can see, we've got this wonderful bee pattern. And again, I love the way this looks against the craft paper and that's layered with black paper. And I think it just really pops on the bottom. We have more rhinestones and we have a sentiment that I fussy cut. Now, this sentiment came from a much larger cut apart. I've simply cut out the piece that I wanted. And it says here, beehive rules, be kind, be honest, be respectful, be positive, be grateful, believe in yourself. And again, each of these little bees, I fussy cut. Back here, we have a little bee house, more sunflowers, and then I love this gingham bow with the jute. And we have another little white rose here on the bottom. On the bottom here, we have this little drawer that pulls out. This is a narrow little drawer, but it's one and three quarters inch deep, so you could fit lots of fun goodies in there. And again, I've decorated this with rhinestones, and this is an antique brass pull from graphic 45 and on the bottom i added in these brass cloth feet this is a side look at how beautiful this paper is and this is the back This concludes my review of my mini bookcase with drawer using the beautiful paper collection Like Bees to Honey by Kim Mary from Salty Beach Scrapper. Please be sure to check out her YouTube channel. I will also include a link to her Etsy store where you can purchase this collection. She will also be making a part two to this collection which will be available digitally. It's called Like Bees to Honey 2. If you like this video, please take a moment to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now, and happy crafting.